So it's currently, I don't know what day it is, but anyway, it's one of the days of the week and I'm about to go meet my friend Olivia and we're going to be shooting a couple photos, having a bit of a coffee and it's so cold this morning so I need to put on more, some more layers, but this is what I'm currently wearing. So I've got my little hoodie from a Fortunate One store and then I've got my vintage Levi's. These are my fave, my fave jeans ever. And then I'm going to put on some boots, but right now I'm wearing my comfy slippers. I've got my bag over here um, of stuff that I'm going to shoot. I've got a couple of outfits to shoot, but basically it's skirts and dresses. So I'm not looking forward to that. I'm going to be so cold. So let's go. I'm going to get the bus and it'll be, it's going to be coming soon. So let's go. We're currently out shooting, I'm with Olivia. Hi. So we found this V cute greenhouse. Little minty green number matching our outfits. Perfect, let's shoot. I have to get into a skirt, so that should be fun. Hiya! <laughs> um, so, this morning I went to a cycle class, a spin class, and I honestly hate spin. I would never choose to go to a spin class, but Kirsty wanted to go, so I agreed to it very hesitantly. But it was actually, I mean, it was really hard, and I don't know if I'll do it again, but I'm glad that I did it because it was such a good workout, and I feel like I've gotten an intense cardio hit, which I haven't done in so long. So yeah, I'm glad about that. Today I've done a few things after that. I've almost had a little croissant, had that for breakfast along with a coffee, and then did some work and now I've shot a couple of things. I am doing a campaign for Skittles. So it's the launch of the giant Skittles. So as you can see, they're bigger. They're bigger than normal Skittles, they're giant Skittles. And they're actually so, so good. Let me eat one and give you my reaction. So see the size? They are big, they are giant. My nose is watering because it's literally freezing outside and I was just in this outfit for my Skittles campaign. Look at my very Skittlish outfit. I really like these. I could just, I could just eat them all day. They're bigger. Yep. They're better. They're fruitier. I approve. Okay, so I need to finish filming one last thing for Skittles and then I'm going to go work in a cafe. So that's the plan and now I'm going to get into an outfit that's going to keep me warm because this is currently not going to do that for me. So I'm going to get changed and I'm going to go. So, um, I'm very tired, I'm just about to have an iced coffee so that I feel a little bit more awake and pepped up, but I'm just about to get ready, I'm going to be going to Notting Hill to do a few things today, so I'm just going to share what the details of that are a bit later, because I have to kind of get ready now. So let's do that and then I'll let you know what we're doing today. So I've just gotten ready, I'm wearing my zebra print flares from Princess Polly, my naked wolf boots and a couple of layers here and then my big green coat over the top this is from asos and yeah we're good to go so i've just arrived in notting hill gate um i took the tube and i'm about to go to the free people's store they've just opened up in westbourne grove so yeah they've invited me down to pick out an outfit and show you guys so that's going to be going live on my instagram a bit later today probably um anyway i'm so cold <laughs> But yeah, I'm just walking there now.
So I've just gotten back from Notting Hill. I went to Free People in Westbourne Grove, as you guys saw. And yeah, I'm back now. It's it's 12, I think, ish, um, which is great. I feel like I've had a productive morning. I've gotten a lot of stuff done. I stopped into a couple of like bakeries. I was going to go to Buns From Home, which I did actually go to. But then I also walked past Ottolenghi. Ottolenghi and it looked so good in there and I was just like oh my god I have to go and get something and I got like way too much stuff then I also went to buns from home and got cinnamon buns and a focaccia so I'm good I'm good for food for today so now I'm gonna um finish off a couple of things I need to get something edited and I also need to shoot a video I think I need to shoot oh my god I need to film a youtube video I just remembered that I have to do that. It's on my list of things to do today. So, lots to do. Things to carry on. I'm feeling a little bit more alive than I was this morning, but um, I'm still a little bit tired. Definitely need to try and get like a full 12 hours of sleep really soon. Otherwise, I know I'm going to crash really hard. So, hopefully tonight. Hopefully I can go to bed early tonight. So, let's, let's see how that goes. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to show you everything that I got from the bakery. I went to two different bakeries. I was only going to go to Buns From Home, but I ended up going to Ottolenghi as well. And I've never been here, but it looks so good. I literally just walked past and I was like, what is that? In the window, I saw all these like treats and like baked goods. And I was like, I have to go in. So I picked up this pretzel, cheese pretzel thingy. And look at the detail on this though. Like it's stunning. It's a piece of art is what it is. Then I also got uh, some sweet treats, because you know I love some sweet treats. Okay, so basically I got a, ooh, I got a lemon cheesecake, not a lemon, no, like a lemon mascarpone tart. So that's that one here. And then I got a spiced Christmas cheesecake. So pumped about that. I'm honestly so excited. <gasps> uh, I'm also, I haven't even eaten breakfast and that's probably why I like went overboard and bought all of this stuff so that's everything that i got from ottolenghi then from buns from home this cinnamon bun look how good it looks like can we just appreciate it's gonna be so good when i heat it up this stunning piece of focaccia bread and that's gonna be great i might turn it into a sandwich or something i'm not sure i don't even know what to eat first like i'm overwhelmed with the choices here i just don't know what to do i think i'm gonna have this pretzel thing and maybe this bread I could probably just eat this on its own because it just looks so good. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put these in the oven and eat. Say hi to the vlog. Hi. Did you go? <laughs> so... I got a couple of things that I want to show you. The first thing is this amazing vintage jumper. So it's from Vintage Threads. And how me is it? It's a rainbow. It's so bright in here. Anyway, um, next I got a couple of things from Beauty Bay and I ordered off the Black Friday sale because there's a couple of things that I had my eye on and I was just like, I'm going to wait till the Black Friday sale. And basically, I got an ice roller for my face. So I'm going to try and do this every morning or maybe every night. I think it's better to do it in the morning, the ice roller. Um, and basically, I saw It's Yu Yan uh, on Instagram use one of these and she's like a real fan of them. So yeah, I kind of was like, I want to try this out and gonna give it a go i also got a, a jade roller so i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna ice roll in the mornings and then jade roll at night so yeah oh my god this is so cute next i ordered some um sponges makeup sponges and they're the beauty bay brand and they're fresh I really have needed one for a really long time, like a new one. You know I love Beauty Bay palettes. My favorite palette ever that I always use basically every single day is the Bright palette. It's like the pink, hot pink palette and I link it all the time on my Instagram. I'll link it below in the description box as well. But yeah, I went for a highlight palette. 
This one is the Living My Best Light Brilliance Bouncy Beam Multi-Use Highlighter Palette. <gasps> this is stunning. Try. Let's try and see. Oh my god. The pigment of Beauty Bay stuff is always so good. This is why I love it. I ordered the same palette that I already have, but in a smaller size because I was like, you know, when I start traveling, when we're allowed to travel again, this is going to be perfect because it's got the green and the purple, which are like my two faves. And then it's also got some neutrals, which is really nice. And I was just like, I need this. I need this a smaller little baby one to go with my big one. my hair is we're having a shoot day we just had some Japanese food and it's very cold yeah that's the update yeah. goodbye yeah. my vlog <laughs> <laughs> So I'm going to show you how I paint sneakers, how I do customs, because you guys were interested in that and you wanted me to kind of do a little bit of a tutorial. So I'm basically going to be painting sneakers today for a giveaway that's coming up. So I'm going to be giving away two pairs of custom sneakers that are going to be exactly like the ones that I paint today. And the giveaway is going to be going live on my Instagram in a couple of days. So probably either Sunday or Monday. So just keep an eye out on my Instagram. My Instagram is at pose and repeat. And yeah, the giveaway will be live on there. It'll be up for a couple of days and you can enter and yeah, maybe win a pair of customs. So I'm going to show you what I do, like what my process is. I am not a pro at this. I've only done it. I mean, I feel like I've kind of gotten some good practice at it now. I've done at least like five, six pairs um, of customs for like friends and like giving them as presents and stuff. So I feel like I've gotten some good practice. But yes, I'm not a pro, so I'm, this is just kind of my version of how I do it. Okay, so I'm literally doing this on the floor in my room. Sometimes I do it out on the table, but I just feel like sitting on my floor today. And I've put out some, you know, paper so that paint doesn't get everywhere. This is not paper, this is plastic. It's like basically a bin bag. Um, and then I've got my paints, so I've got white. And then I've got leather preparer and deglazer. Then I've got a finisher and then I've got my coloured paints that I'm using. So I'm doing a purple and a green combination today. So I've just got a bunch of different like shades and stuff. And everything is from Angelus Paints. And yeah, I will leave a link down below if you are interested in picking up these. But basically they are the best things to use for Nike Air Force Ones and like for leather paints. They are the best quality. So I've also got my brushes over here and then I've got some cotton... Um, pads and some cotton buds for any cleanup and error. So I've got my Nikes here. The first thing that I'm going to do is take off the laces. So we've got the laces off and the next thing that we're going to do is use the leather deglazer and preparer and I'm going to use this on a cotton pad and basically rub the deglazer on any part of the shoe that I'm going to be painting. Before this step you can use sandpaper on the shoe on the part that you're also painting and then use a deglazer but I don't have any sandpaper with me today so I'm just going to be skipping that but it is better to do that because it gives the paint something to grip to rather than it being on like a smooth surface. So yeah so let's go ahead and deglaze and prepare the leather. So basically I'm going to be painting the kind of the the tick and then the back part of the shoe I'm going to be leaving this kind of white so that's the part that I'm going to deglaze so really rub and get in there So I've done a really pale lilac, I've done a little bit of a darker green and a really really light pastel sage green. Basically I'm going to be doing the tick pastel lilac, I'm going to be doing these 
two panels this shade of darker green then the back I'm just going to decide and see in a bit. The key is to start off with really really light layers it's not going to look good on the first few layers it's just not but that's fine. You also can use tape but I feel like I don't know I've just gotten used to not using tape so I'm not going to be really using it today. I do have some and I did order some because I was thinking I might start using it but I just I'm okay to like not use tape and just be careful when I'm painting and also just make sure that I do clean up at the end. Okay so we've done the first coat and this is basically what it looks like. So now I'm just gonna do another coat and I'm just gonna keep going with coats. Usually I do about five to seven coats depending on how it goes. Usually you can tell by looking at it whether or not it needs another coat. So I've done the lilac tick, the lilac back and then the two greens on the back panels. So that is what it looks like right now. It's got a couple of coats on it. I still have a while to go. I have a fair few coats to finish off. It's been at least like an hour and a half, maybe two hours. <laughs> it basically looks the same on camera um, just because of the light. Okay, if I put it here, you can kind of tell the color difference. So this is still going to need more coats to become more of a solid colored purple, a lilac, but I like the mix of the two greens. And yeah, I'm just going to keep doing coats until I'm happy with the color. So yeah. I just got home from dinner I'm about to take off my makeup and do some skincare so I thought I would try this Sunday Riley stuff that I got sent this was a gifted from the brand and we've got all this new skincare for me to try so I'm gonna go in with the cleansing balm and remove my makeup so I basically decided to wash my hair at the last minute so I decided I would use this face oil, so I used the balm to take off my makeup and it worked really well. I liked how, how it worked on my skin. Um, it was a bit difficult to take off my eye makeup. I don't know if I should be using it really to take off my eye makeup because there's like small particles in there. But I'm going to use this UFO Ultra Clarifying Face Oil now. I'm just going to do a couple of drops. So if you can see, it's like a really clean colour. 